Hi everyone, this is Will here at the 5 Minute Digital Recording Tips. Today uh, I've got a really quick one for you. I'm editing some drums here and I want to show you a little shortcut for lining up uh, drum tra oh, actually any transient, but in this case it's a drum transient. So what you want to do is, in general, is try and line up these hits. So I've got these two bass drums here. One is the original kick drum and this one up here is a, um, is a sample which I um, which I printed through um, Slate Slate Trigger, and some of the hits are a little early. Um, so if we li just listen to this one hit, you'll have a, you'll be able to. Hear. Okay, it's kind of flaming there slightly. Sorry, I got to put us into uh, input there. You, see, you can see it's sort of flaming a little bit. So I want to move this drum transient to line up with this one. Okay, now I could just separate the region up here and then move it with the grabber and line it up visually, but there's a much quicker way of doing it. So here's how we do it. The first thing is we want to separate this region, so we just move this, we don't move this this, um, this transient here or this one over here. So um, we use what's called tab to transient to begin this process. It's this little button up here in the top left. Um, and what it does is essentially it moves your cursor right to the very beginning of the sample. So, um, and so you just put your cursor a little before the, the transient, hit tab, and it'll move right to the beginning of the transient. Okay. Now, if we hit Apple E, uh, that will actually separate this part of the region, and then we'll do the same thing afterward. So now, this we can move this around now without affecting the rest of our um, the rest of our track. So let's just leave it there for now. It's fine. It doesn't matter where it is. So now we go to our reference track, and we actually do the same thing in terms of the uh, tab to transient. We just put our cursor before this this beat here. Uh, we hit Tab. Okay, and you'll see it moves the playhead right to the beginning of this transient. Now if we go back up to our sample that we're moving, okay, put our cursor over it, hold down Control Shift on the Apple keyboard, and then just click, and it moves right to the beginning of the transient. So now if we listen back to that, okay, perfect. And that's basically it. Um, you could engage the Auto Focus button up here on the right-hand side the AZ button uh, to make it even quicker so you would just in that case press control and not control shift uh, but that's it I find you know um, obviously if you're doing an entire track and there's a lot of transients out of the out of the pocket as we'll say um, you could use beat detective but for just ones here and there this is a I think a much simpler way of going about it so yeah there you have it uh, this has been Will at 5 minute digital recording tips uh, see you guys soon thanks for watching